the number six player not in the Hall of Fame, Tony Vaselli. So in my mind, any argument anybody wants to make about TD, Terrell Davis being in the Hall of Fame, the exact same argument can be made for Tony Baselli, except Tony Baselli was even better than Terrell Davis. Tony Baselli was, for two or three seasons, the best offensive lineman in the NFL. Because when you tell the story of the NFL, when you talk about the 90s, it's impossible not to mention Tony Baselli because he was clearly one of the best top two or three at his position. In recent years, the Pro Football Hall of Fame has given offensive linemen their due, electing John Ogden and Orlando Pace. But what about their contenders? Temporary, Tony Baselli. For five years, forget Ogden, forget Orlando Pace. I love those guys, but Tony Baselli was the best left tackle in the NFL. And he also had a good run, had a good run on some good Jacksonville Jaguar teams. You know, some offenses that Mark Brunel uh, and Jimmy Smith and Keenan McCardell, those guys were able to do a lot of good things, and Tony Baselli was the bell cow on that offensive line. They were the outstanding young franchise that came from nowhere. And one of the cornerstones of that was Tony Baselli. Think about the Jaguars team that beat John Elway and the Broncos in the playoffs. The Jaguars are going to the championship game, and they have stunned John Elway. Those were the Tony Baselli eras in, J in Jacksonville. You know why we're here today? Tony Baselli didn't just block guys. Tony Baselli physically punished other human beings, and I love him for it. He had that nasty mindset that we all want to have in our offensive line. Baselli was that good. Tony Baselli was one of those guys that was the dominant guy and then had it all taken away by injury. First and 10 from the 49. Jacksonville back with it. Brett Taylor going over the left side and carving out three. An injured player that may be Tony Baselli. Tony Baselli was a really good player who probably, if he had not had injuries and his career shortened by injuries, I think probably would be a Hall of Fame. We talk about the loss of Tony Baselli, and really, it's a huge impact on this offense. I liked him as a player, but the prime of his career was probably a little too short to qualify for the Hall of Fame. Tony Baselli, yes, he's iconic to the people of uh, Duval County. Is he a Hall of Famer, though? Come on. I'm not so sure I would say Tony's a Hall of Famer. Very good player. Uh, but I'm, just, I'm not sure he did it long enough at that position to be a Hall of Famer. It's a little different than some of the skill positions. If you're the best in the game at what you do for five or six years at that position, then you should be in the Hall of Fame. I think he'll eventually get in, even if it's on the Veterans Committee. may even make it to the 15 one of these years, but I, I kind of think he's not going to make it to the Hall of Fame. It's purely because that his body broke down.